But yeah, so it's just over a week now for Health Around Australia towing the caravan with a GWM Canon here. So before I go, there's a couple of things I want to install. One of them is a electronic brake controller and also a DC to DC charger for a dual battery setup and fridge in the back. So here I've got the, uh, the one I'm installing is a Tori Power Elite V3. They're pretty much the best on the market because they also have like an accelerometer inside them which um, basically you can sense the g-forces of the vehicle and it alters the brake force depending on how hard you brake. So it can sense the vehicle is slowing down and it applies more brakes the harder you brake. So it's a um, pretty good unit. You can also do a manual override which is really good for when you start getting um, like trailer sway etc at the back you can manually override and just put the brakes on the trailer which um, will kind of pull it back in line so you don't get too out of control and end up uh, losing your caravan. So that's um, pretty good. Yeah, so basically with the um, just the basic kit you get when you buy the, the controller, you basically just get this main control unit. Um, this little wiring harness here. There's only like four wires on it, so it's pretty simple really to wire up. And this is the, um, the other little unit, which is basically like the dial you have. You just got this, all you really see sticking out dash is this little tiny dial here. So it's very like good and concealed, not like the old ones used to be these big units hanging out underneath the dash. So yeah, this unit here has to be fixed solidly because you can't have it sort of vibrating around, moving around because it won't work properly because the accelerometer needs to be fixed solidly to the car to work properly. Otherwise you have issues there. So you make sure you get a fine like uh, find a really good mounting point for it. Um, because like with modern vehicles, they have the autonomous energy braking. Um, and also adaptive cruise control. So, so because of that, um, the best place to pick up your braking signal is from right at the trailer plug. That way it'll pick up any act, um, braking events like when your cruise control is braking or emergency braking is braking, it'll also break the trailer. So um, because of that, you also need to have a diode which like stops the electrical current coming back feeding into the system so it doesn't mess with your cruise control or your computer and stuff. So. Red Arc does sell a diode for about 50 bucks, encapsulated diode. But I just brought these ones from, you get these ones for JCAR for like a couple of dollars each. So these are little 6 amp diodes, so I'm just going to use um, one of these instead and wire it in. So that's up to you what you're going to do with that. Um, also, we've got a 30 amp auto resetting um, brake, circuit breaker here, which will go right next to the battery. Um, yeah, it's important to have one of those so you don't something happens it doesn't just burn out of your wire that's basically what they're there to protect yeah so from red arc you can also get like wiring kits that are suitable for different vehicles so they're basically plug and play um i think they're about 150 or 200 bucks something like that i just i'm just going to do it myself um just using the wire I already have lying around so yeah it's only like four wires so it should be pretty simple really yeah basically what i'm going to do i'm just going to run all the four wires through the flywheel at the front um Two of them will go to the battery, the positive and negative, and then another two wires will run all the way to the back to the trailer plug. Under the back of the vehicle here. So what I've done is I've just, this is where the um, trailer plug was mounted on here. So what I've done is just um, fully unconnected that. So here's the um, wiring harness connection point. So it basically just connects up into that plug there. So I've just unplugged that, taken it off here. That way I can put it up on my workbench and work on it a bit easier. So I've got four wires coming out of the um, Tropro Elite controller I need to wire up. So I'm running all four wires through this little grommet just here, if you can see it. Just there, that grommet. Um, so I'm just pushing all the four straight through there. So yeah, up under the dash here, see my wires hanging out. Come straight through that grommet up there. So it's pretty easy access. So I've taken off this fuse cover, and that's where I'm going to mount the um, little knob so I can control it with just easy so I can take it off I can drill a hole in up my workbench and stuff and up on the side here so I can put my light down yeah, so up on the side here there's like a, this metal bit of frame here so I'm just gonna direct stick it to that so it should be solid there won't move around so for the wires that go to the trailer plug I'm basically just gonna run it straight down underneath the chassis of the vehicle and then I'm just going to follow it all the way along the chassis, make sure it's not touching anything that's it can rub on or you know wear out the cable. And I'm running all the way to the back to it with the trailer plug. Yeah, so 
I've done is solder this little diode in here. I put a little heat shrink over it. That connects to the brake signal coming from the vehicle. Um, and this is the other, the other red wire here is the brake signal come from the Topro Elite. And they both connect into the same pin. Um, and then also I've got another cable here, this black one. This goes to your electronic brake pin number five in your trailer. So these two black and red ones go all the way back to the Topro Elite at the front of the car. So there's only really two wires that run back into here, so it's pretty easy, really. Okay, so I've run my wires now. I'll just crimp them all to this wiring harness that goes into the back of the Topro unit. So the black wire here runs all the way to the positive on the battery. I've just got these little 6mm Nava connectors. I'm just using 10 gauge wire, all my wiring is 10 gauge. Um, so this white wire is a negative. It says to put that to the chassis, but I've run that all the way back to the battery to make sure I've got a good ground. Um, and these other two wires, the red one goes to the trailer brake indicator. Um, and the blue one goes all the way to your electronic braking pin number five. Yeah, so on the battery here, I've got the um, 30 amp auto resetting circuit breaker. So I've got a positive and negative setup here. And I've run that around, all around underneath the front here, you can't see it, the cable's in behind here, and it comes out here. Um, I'm going to zip tie this up, I haven't done that yet, but it is always a zip tie. I'll zip tie all these up nice and neat. That runs around there, and goes down into that, through that rubber grommet, down to the Topro unit. So I've um, installed the little knob here, in the little uh, fuse cover. That runs up into the little Topro Elite unit there. So I've stuck that up onto that side pillar there with some 3M VHB tape. So it should be quite a strong bond, it shouldn't go anywhere. And there's all the wires coming out the back. I'll tidy all those up, zip tie them all up nice and neat, and then it uh, should be it. Alright, so I've tidied all those cables up. You know, basically all you see is that little tiny knob sticking out. Um, so it looks very clean, there's no big unit hanging down like the old ones used to. Alright, so I've just been finished installing that unit. Now I've just hooked up the caravan onto the back of the car. I'm just going to do a bit of a test run, see how well the braking unit works. Now I've finished installing. Everything so I'm in the vehicle now. You can just see the little control knob there. That's pretty much all you see on these units. They're pretty nice and tidy. At the moment it's just got a blue light on. That means the trailer is connected. And pretty sure it's, if it's in blue, a blue light, it means it's in proportional mode. It also has a green light which means you're in user control mode. Um, and then you can just turn this dial up and down, control the brake force. I've got it down at two at the moment, and two, so I'll just, uh, because it's the first time I tested it, I want to have it down low, so make sure it's not going to be too aggressive. So, um, yeah, I'll see how we go. Right, here we go, just pulling out of the driveway. Let's see how we go. So it's very wet today, as you can see. Uh, it's got the braking level set to four and the little controller down there at the moment. So I'm just going to have a bit of a break down this hill here. And see how well it works. I mean, it, feel, it feels very smooth. Like, I can almost... can't really tell the trailer brakes are coming on. I think that's because of proportional mode. So, like, basically the harder you push the brakes, the quicker you slow down, the more it puts the brakes on. Whereas before, I just had the trailer mounted unit, which basically meant that it was only ever one like level, so I had to adjust it on the trailer. I remember when I put my foot on the brakes, it was just set to a certain level, so it was very noticeable. Um, but it seems to be working pretty well, so whenever I push the brake down, a little light comes up on the little unit, like a little um, pink sort of light, so I think that means everything's good. So I might just crank the brakes up a little bit more and just see if I can notice it. So I'm doing about 40 k's an hour down here now. Um, put the brake on. Oh yeah, I can notice that for sure. Yeah, that really... Definitely, you can notice those, that brake's coming on hard then. Crank the number right up. I think I got it on like 7 at the moment. So, um, yeah, so the unit seems to be working pretty good. Happy with that. Pretty stoked with that, so... Yeah, so far it seems like a pretty successful install. It seems to be working well. Um, we'll be using, using this a lot in our videos over the... Uh, next year so be more of an update and see how well it performs if we have any issues with it or not. 
Um, yeah, thanks for watching.